Madison Craig, a communications intern with ECI Development, and we're here with Betsy and Natalie just to answer some questions concerning working in Belize as an American national. We've had quite a few questions about that. So ladies, how about you introduce yourselves for us? Sure. My name is Betsy Rosenlund. I am a property consultant with ECI Development. I have been working with them in Belize for four and a half years now. I do call Belize my home permanently. And yeah, look forward to answering uh, some questions. Hey, everybody. I'm Natalie Schultz, and I'm also a property consultant for ECI Development down here in Belize. I've been living on the island for about four years now um, and been coming down here for about eight or nine. Perfect. So starting with you, Betsy, what made Belize come on your radar as a potential workplace or home? Yeah, so I had never actually been to Belize, but I had done quite a bit of traveling um, in neighboring countries of Nicaragua, Guatemala, El Salvador. Um, And so when a job opportunity came up to come to Belize, I uh, immediately jumped at it. I uh, was excited. I loved the region. I loved the people, the the climate, the the weather, the food. Um, So this was a, a really exciting opportunity that I couldn't say no to. And what about you, Natalie? I started coming back um, to the island in 2002 as a tourist and just fell in love with the place. Started getting my whole family to come back. We came back every year, sometimes a couple times a year. And then I um, decided I want to live here. So I actually moved here just because I wanted to be here and was able to work remotely from home with my current job for a couple of years. Perfect. So Betsy, how did you go about working legally in Belize? Uh, so I was offered the position um, while I was still living in this, the U.S. Um, and at that time, we started collecting all of the documents that are needed in order to apply for a work permit uh, in Belize, since you are required to have a work permit as a non-Belizean citizen. Um And so that process um, did take a little bit of time, but we used uh, a facilitator to help us with that process to really ensure that the process went as smoothly and quickly as possible, um, which I would definitely recommend to anybody that's looking to come down and work in Belize. Um, It is possible to do it by yourself, but it does make it quite a bit easier um, when you have somebody who knows the process Um, has worked with the government before and really knows what they're doing. Yeah, so with the facilitator, what was the time span of that? Was it more months or more years? What was that sort of look like? Uh, That one was really a matter of about two to three months, Um, whereas I I know of people who have gone about doing it themselves, and it can take months and months and months and up to, to years with you know, little or no results. So I definitely recommend uh, having somebody assist you with the process. And all in all, did it cost too much money? Um, You know, it really wasn't a whole lot more than the cost of the work permit itself. And it was certainly worth the money to not have the headaches of going back and forth with uh, both the labor department and the immigration department on it. So it was about a thousand US dollars, which um, in the grand scheme of things isn't isn't too terribly much. And if it saves you uh, travel expenses from traveling back and forth because you are required to do some things in person, um, I would definitely recommend doing it that way. Perfect. And Natalie, how did you decide to work in Belize legally? Well, my story was a little bit different. Um, As I said, I I came down here just because I wanted to be here. Um, But after being here for a couple of years, I didn't want to leave. I wanted to stay. And then I needed to um, start working down here. So I did it a little bit differently. Um, I actually set up a corporation here in Belize that would allow me to then get a work permit for myself Um, and be a self-employee of that company, thus allowing me to work anywhere um, here in Belize for anyone legally um, as as a consultant. Um, I did that because Belize, um, they're very protective of their population and the jobs that they'll just hand hand out. So it can be a little daunting getting a job here, um, but 
in that way, I was covered and I could work remotely or I could work in a restaurant or I could do property management or um, anything like that. And was that avenue, was it an expensive one? No, it really wasn't. I mean, I did the same thing like Betsy. I had someone helping me along the way that was very well connected within the government and um, she could get things pushed through. And, you know, she's an accountant here. So her fees really were nominal. They weren't that much more than, you know, the actual fees, like Betsy said. Um, She just charged, you know, her normal rate and it was very well worth that money. And we'll start with Betsy. If you could go about doing this process again, would you choose the same process you went through? Absolutely. 100%. Um, I, I know far too many people who have tried to do it on their own and they either end up just giving up and leaving or they find themselves spending twice as much money as they would have um, if they had just uh, used somebody had somebody assist them in the first place and Natalie would you absolutely I completely agree I honestly don't think you could get it done on your own um, I think you really do need someone helping you along the way and I would do, I would do the same same process all over again how was the process of moving your guys's lives from the U.S. to Belize I mine was happened pretty quick uh, once I finally was approved to come down to Belize with my work permit. Um, I put everything in I owned in storage in the U.S. and packed a suitcase, two suitcases, and came down to Belize. And I've been there for five years, almost five years now. And I've you know certainly uh, there's still things that I I wish I had in Belize, but you really learn what you can live with and without um, when you're living on a small island in the Caribbean. And you, Natalie? Mine was a little bit different um, because I kind of came down here for a month not knowing if I was going to stay longer, the situation, because I was working remotely. So I tested it out for a month and then I just sort of stayed. So I would go back and forth for holidays and things and then just bring down you know, a couple suitcases of things at a time. And most of the places down here you're going to find to rent are um, fully furnished. So I didn't really need to worry about household items or anything like that. So it was relatively easy to bring what I need down here. Perfect. It's great that you guys had relatively easy experiences coming down to Belize and it worked within your lifestyle. And so with being in Belize and working, down here. What has been your favorite thing about it? Um, I I definitely love the people, um, both the local Belizeans as well as other foreigners that are make their home in Belize. Um, it's a really great group of people, very welcoming. Um, and then it's hard to beat the weather. It's you know sunny and warm almost every day. And after having lived in Colorado for ten years and shoveling snow, it was a night, quite a nice change. So yeah, those are definitely two of the biggest things that have kept me in Belize. And what about you, Natalie? Um, yeah, I mean, the same. The people are great here, locals, expats, and then all the, the fun tourists that you get to meet along the way and clients that we have come down to the island. Um, I really enjoy showing first-time people that come down the island um, because it is a different place. And there's a lot of things to it that people don't know about if they haven't really looked into it, um, you know, such as like golf carts, for example. Everyone drives a golf cart here. Um, so that's something that's really fun to do is show people the island and show them the things I love. Um, I love fishing. I love getting on the water and scuba diving, snorkeling. Um, so it's just a really great place. And um, you do have a different lifestyle here, though. It is a slower lifestyle. And like Betsy said, you learn what you can live with and what you're willing to go without. And it's quite a bit of material things that I think we've probably both left behind in the States, um, given up in, in return for the richness of the water and the island and the people here. At the end of the day, would you guys choose a different country down here to live in? Or are you happy with your choice of place? I love it. I don't think I would choose anywhere else. I've, I've traveled quite a bit throughout the region and um, I definitely love Belize. I love other places to go visit, but Belize is home. 
Yeah, I agree with Betsy. But it, it Belize is home. I always felt like I was home when I stepped off the plane here and you smell the air and it's sweet and everyone's so friendly and just has a totally different vibe. But the island is a really special place. I mean, like I said, we all drive golf carts and everything's pretty much out in the open. It's a small community, um, you know, that really steps in and help each helps each other out when needed. So I, I quite like being in this in this community. Perfect. It sounds like you guys have been two great additions to the island itself and Belize in general. It's been great talking to you guys today and have a great one. Thank you so much. Harrison, thanks everyone.